we're just going to look at a, a few top website tips for plants for the future. So if we go to the home page, click on home. Okay, quickly going through these. If you've not had a good look at the, the home page before, if you click on latest news here, you've got a summary of all our, our, our Twitter information. So this is this kind of live and anything new comes on here straight away. And the same with Facebook. It's not coming up yet, but in a second, here you go. So anything that we put onto Facebook also comes here, as well as our, our newsletters. So all our latest newsletter information. So if you don't have a Twitter account or don't have a Facebook account and still want to find out what we're doing, you can check out this particular page. Or if you just want a quick summary, it's all there. So back to the home page. What you can also do from the home page is you can just put your email address in there and then you can get information on the newsletter. So we'll actually send you the newsletter. All very good stuff. Okay. On every single page you have what's known as the, the PDF download. So if you wanted a, a hard copy of any particular page, whether it's a plant or a particular web page, you can just click on this, this button here and that will be saved to your hard disk. Um, we'll have a quick look at that later. One thing you can also do from the home page, you can do a, a Google search. So if you wanted more information apart from our standard search, if you go to this little icon here, you come to the Google search. Now that only searches the Plants for Future website, but it does it quite thoroughly. So you get a lot more information than you would do if you were looking for just, for example, one particular plant. Let's go back to the home page. Something else you can do here, if you have, um, if you're interested in a, a plant, but you, you're not quite sure how to spell the name, um, you can actually just put part of that name in there. So if I was looking for lavender, I wasn't quite sure of the spelling, I can just put LAV and do a search. There it comes. So this now comes up with all plants that have LAV in That includes things like LAV where it's appearing in the name here and here. Um, but obviously look further down here we put all the, the lavenders, which is exactly what we want. So let's choose one of the lavenders, English lavender. So from this page, as you saw before, we can just click on here to get a PDF download. Just do a quick demonstration on that. So it's now downloaded. So I'm going to discard that. So it's now on your hard disk, in this case on my hard disk. Other information from this particular page that is worth knowing, if you click on the I by Edibility Rating, as an example, you get the key coming up that tells you um, what the rating means, what some of the symbols mean, and the hardiness scale. This hardiness is a, a plants for the future hardiness scale rather than a, a general hardiness scale. So it's the same information whether you click on edibility rating, additional rating, or care. So just clicking on here. Something else we can do, we can just hover over medicinal information and that gets us more information on a particular term. Okay let's go back to our search. Some of the searches you'll notice in the, in the top bar up here you have like a little link. Now that allows you to actually sort information by highest or lowest first. So if, for example I've done a search for, for LAV, for the lavenders. Um, I can now go to edibility rating if I click on here. It'll give us all the high edibility ratings first. Or if I click on additional ratings, it'll do the same thing. And the common name you can see is also highlighted. So if I click on the common name, same thing happens. Okay, just quickly moving on, we can now look at the, the plant uses section, the purple button at the top. So we're now in the plant uses section. 
some of the inter interesting information com to come from here, edible uses, which automatically comes up first, you have all this additional information here. So all the, f all the plants that have um, edible flowers, if you click on here, you'll get a, a complete list. So they're all coming up through here. Same again, all the plants that have edible fruit and all the edible uses as well. So plants that have uh, a uses of, of a chocolate. The number here is the number of plants. So in this case, eight plants in the database have uh, a chocolate attribute. Let's quickly moving on, going back to medicinal. Just waiting for a load. If we scroll down the medicinal page, here you've got a complete list of all the different medicinal properties, all kind of categorized. And if you click on any of these rollovers here, you'll get a list of plants. So there's 270 plants in this particular category. Um, so little subheadings, good way of finding out information quite quickly. Just scrolling down to see. Okay, so let's go to other uses as well. It comes. So other uses, if you're interested in say building materials or clothing, you've got a full list of, of plants here, attributes, um, the number of plants and that, that attribute that you might be interested in. For example, let's choose something a little bit obscure. So boom. Very interesting things coming through here. So let's try sandpaper. List of sandpaper plants that can be used for sandpaper. Click on one particular plant. And there's the information. So you'll find here under other uses, we have sandpaper. We can also get from the plant uses section is we have things like the top edible plants, with annuals, biennials, bulbs, and so on. Click on there, gives you the, the full list that we have. This, this is our choice, what we think are, are top edibles, um, with all the information. Again, if you wanted to save this page for, for reference later offline, you can just do download it as a PDF. We've got the same thing, top medicinal plants, with very high rating, as you can see. An interesting thing uh, from the plant uses section, the habitat section is often missed, but it's quite an interesting page. So if you go right down to the bottom, habitat section, it gives you all the, these diverse habitats and links to new pages, for example, the edible lawn or the edible shrubs and so on. So quite an interesting page, often missed because it's at the bottom. And again, the different habitats where things might appear as a hedge, as a hedgerow, as a, you know plants that do well near a north wall, for example. If you've not actually used the, the new database search, go to the database page. It's worth playing with, as well as you know simple ways of searching, the usual kind of um, you know, usual search results you can do these more complex searches. So you can now search by uses and properties. So this is, we've now added these two together. At one time, uses and properties were separate. Now you can do a search for both of these together. So a, a very interesting and good way of searching. And from a medicinal properties point of view, you have this help with these terms. So if you click on here, you'll get a full list of all the different terms that we're using edible uses all the way down, medicinal uses all the way down, and other uses at the bottom. If you wanted to save that, you can download it as a PDF using this icon here. Back to the database. Just before we finish, um, these links at the top can be very useful. So how to use a database, frequently asked questions, design tips, 
before you start. That's from a, an actual planting or designing point of view. Uh, the, the full species database bibliography and help videos. So it's worth checking out these if you've not tried it before. And I think that's it. Okay, thank you.